Engineer Samuel Ayo Hile. Kayode has converted his Camry car to liquefied petroleum gas. LPG powered. Did you have any fear in mind when you wanted to switch in switch the ignition well, the first time? Well, there was no fear because uh, engineering basic principles, of course, for uh, graduate studies engineering, and uh, that the, the field of study is related to what we are talking about here. And in fact, it's even the backbone of it. After observing uh, all due process and protocols in engineering, I don't think there is need for fear. So I wasn't afraid because there was no leakage, the, uh, the circuits were properly connected, the systems were properly programmed with computer, and I've been to programming now for many years. I started the engine, we checked if there are leakages before starting, we uploaded the programs that the brain box of the of the uh, sequential injection control system will use to communicate with the original manufacturer brain box. People call it brain box, but it's uh, ECM, electronic control motor. The conversion was done in August 2023, and the car has been on a test run since then. This is the first uh, car converted to gas powered in a good state. Some people may think that the cylinder that has been used in this uh, vehicle is not the correct one. Safety measures have been observed, such as overfilling valve has been incorporated into the cylinder at uh, a certain safe pressure, the safety valve can decide to uh, relieve itself of the internal pressure if the internal pressure is getting higher. So the toroidal uh, cylinders that are ready-made, also from uh, designed for uh, vehicles to fill into the extra tire space, also have the relief valves, overfilling uh, pressure regulators, and all that has been incorporated into the cylinder. So the cylinder is designed for cooking, but has been redesigned to meet the safety standard for vehicles. Kayode studied electronics and telecommunication. He is also a biomedical engineer. Besides his LPG powered vehicle, he has also built drones. This is a place we fill for uh, petrol, PMS, but this is not what we're interested in now. This is the port for filling this cylinder. This is where you fill the gas. This is a gas spot. And from here, you are filling that cylinder. So you don't need to take it out if you have the appropriate nozzle for this pot. So you are filling the cylinder from here. And just like we fill the petrol, we fill the gas, LPG gas from here. So, it can be switched from gas to petrol or petrol to gas. You can see the green light means it is running on gas. Now, this is fuel. As it is running now, we are not using petrol. Now, if I want to switch to petrol now, all I just need to do is to press this button. Now, looking at this gauge, this is where you know the level of uh, uh, gas left in the tank, in the gas tank in the LPG tank. Now, this is R, one, two, three, four. So as you can see now, the gas is full. 
that is why you see all the four green lights turned on so now let me switch to petrol for you to see i'll just press the button and the the system and the system will automatically switch to petrol now watch now you saw the kind of change is sequentially changed from using gas to petrol and we can accelerate that's on petrol and also just do something like that by revving the engine now it's on gas and we can still rev so very perfect there is no stress you don't need to you, you don't need to run out of gas and petrol while you run out of gas you can easily switch to petrol to maintain this gas is very easy maybe at um, 500 kilometers at every 500 kilometers there's a particular filter you change just like we change our oil filters during the servicing of uh, the engine so apart from changing the filters for the for the gas systems and the qualification of the LPG cylinders after two to three years then that's every other thing is safe so the cost of maintaining it is just less than one dollar. There are safety concerns, but they're not uh, posing threats that are higher than what petrol is posing to us. Part of safety I consider is ensuring that the gas system is installed properly can really save a lot of stuff can really save accident in the future can really save uh, explosion so if it is well installed with good safety devices and measurements considered well there will be no problem second safety concern i think is uh, poor maintenance water spillage in the boot where the cylinder is of course, the cylinder will be covered. It will not even be open. But if you check mine, it's open for now, just for advanced purposes. So uh, the safety concerns are not something really much more than what petrol puts to us. If you look at it very well, we have been cooking on LPG uh, cylinders for years in Nigeria. Even abroad, they've been using it for many years. Over 75 countries have adopted the use of LPG gas. So it's not a new thing. And the heat that is inside uh, where we are cooking with uh, LPG cylinder, some people call it propane cylinder, it's also propane. So if you are putting the pot on the cylinder, the heat that is being radiated at such time, you can't compare that heat to what is inside the boot of a vehicle. It's much more lower. The servicing of either LPG powered or CNG powered is um, much more, a, li a little bit different rather from that of a petrol in terms of saving cost. It's going to save your cost on fuel and on the engine oil. Assuming you service your engine, you change the oil and the oil fitter at 3,000 miles before when you change to LPG or CNG gas, you can you can start to have about two uh, two thousand more mileage before you change. So that means you can go from three thousand to five thousand miles. So before you do the oil change, if you are using a good oil, and because the fuel is cleaner, the gas is cleaner, it is not going to deposit impurities into the engine oil at a faster rate. So that is why gas is cleaner than petrol. According to Kayode, LPG powered vehicle is eco-friendly, cleaner and safer than CNG. I've been seeing people saying CNG is safer. Well, we may have different judgments in engineering. Um, what are the things that are make, uh, making me to think LPG is safer? Uh, 
by the val virtue of uh, my profession, I can I can say that LPG is safer. In terms of pressure storage, in terms of uh, 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 the uh, way we have been using it, we are very close to it. You know, we understand how things, uh, how LPG has been uh, uh, in use over time. So for the fact that people are, you know, have been using it before, it makes it will make people safe. Now, CNG is told at a very high pressure that if it explodes, it can really cause serious damage. Yes, of course, even if you put a petrol inside a cake and it explodes, of course, it will cause serious damage as well. So, but this damage that can be caused by CNG is much more higher in, because of the pressure at which it is stored, which is usually between 150 bars to 200 bars, compared to LPG that is stored between four to six bars, just four to six, and compare that to 150 to 200. If such an explosion will happen in a vehicle, it's probably going to take off probably everybody in the vehicle. So, but for LPG cylinders that we are very familiar with, I think it is safer than CNG. Kayode's invention is in response to the removal of fuel subsidy and the attendant high costs of petroleum products. The cost of uh, fuel suddenly increased dramatically about you know, close to 300 percent, if I if I if I'm correct. So. Uh, and I use a 2.4 liter engine and as an engineer I think of course what we have studied over time should be translated into reality so that's why I said uh, we actually have to do something about converting my car to gas powered so I was inspired because of the challenges people faced and uh, to solve the problems for people you know, aiming at getting cheaper transport and all that. You can imagine where people go over time and uh, they have been going to such places with 100 Naira, suddenly turns to about uh, four or 500 Naira. So it's also designed to ease people at uh, transportation uh, and uh, also it is eco-friendly. He is prepared to assist members of the public who are interested in converting the power source of their vehicle. So we are not taking anything out of your engine. We are only incorporating the gas system to your engine. So this pipe that you see is coming from the cylinder at the back. So and uh, to the injectors, the filters, the filter that you change. At every 500 kilometers of the run. As you can see, the engine is running now on gas. It's running on gas. LPG gas. Liquefied petroleum gas. The car electronic control module is what we call uh, the brain box. It is the master and the one that comes with the kit that we install in your vehicle is a slave. So that master controls what the slave inputs into the system of your vehicle. His advice to the government. Instead of um, bringing in new stations for CNG, which is compressed natural gas, we have enough LPG stations on ground in Nigeria that can really serve as a filling station for most of our vehicles. Investing heavily millions of dollars on CNG equipment and trying to establish new plants, some people will not be able to have access to CNG in the next 10 years, even in Nigeria, because the project is going to cost a lot.
engineer Kayode appeals to President Bola Ahmed Tinubu to work on the improvement of Nigeria's technological sector. This will reduce the country's economic hardship and lessen insecurity. The, the price that you put on LP, uh, on CNG installation and establishment throughout the whole country, if you use that to subsidize LPG, that people are already uh, having access to even in the corner of their home, that will solve a lot of problems than just bringing in new uh, equipment for CNG. Before we get LPG gas at 300 Naira to 400 Naira, if such a thing can be maintained at that price, in fact, it would be a great escape for Nigerians. Glory FM reporting for Pop TV. People of the Fountain.